What is going on guys? In this video, I'm super excited to share with you a gun tray open mini scheme that you can use to have a ton of fun in this game. And it's really simple. And we're gonna be able to leverage some of the concepts that we've learned from the gun bunch, as well as some of the concepts we learned from the trips tied in to create a really unique spread style of offense. And that formation or the playbook that I'm using in this video is the Minnesota Vikings uh, offensive playbook. I think they have at least the best trips or the tri tray open, um, at least for right now. I think their tray open is super unique and super effective. Um, two other ones that you might want to use um, is the Browns and the Broncos. Those are two other really good ones. Um, the Steelers have a good one as well, but I just think that the um, the reason I go with the Vikings tray open is primarily for some of the or for the smash concept i think the smash play is really really important and they've got some other stuff to the running back what i love about the tray open really quickly before we dive too far into this video is i absolutely love the the spread um out aspect of this it's better than wide trip sweep because the tight end gets into the slot position you're really going to be able to use and attack the whole field so with that being said we're going to jump into this mini scheme and if you want to get the full gun tray open guide um all you got to do is just simply join our true fan membership i'm gonna be updating that into the membership later this week um there's gonna be a link in the description for you to be able to do that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with one simple passing concept um that i really really like uh that i really really like out of this uh out of this formation and really the cool part of it and real quick let's just go over audible so first things first audibles are simple uh we're gonna have stick pa wide receiver in and then the third one is kind of up to you. If you want to use four verticals, you certainly can. Um, in this year's game, the four verticals with that crossing route to the tight end is still really good. And this ghost route to the back is really good. You can also put Vikings dig in there. So I just wanted to kind of make that little disclaimer. Now, the base play we're going to be using for this scheme is the wide receiver corner or the wide corner. I apologize. The wide corner is a fun little passing concept because what you're going to see is we're really going to be able to set up your opponent a lot with this offense. This offense can attack the whole field, and we want it to do just that. So uh, first and foremost, I'm just going to show you this play against a Babel coverage. And I want to show you this is a progression, just a very simple progression for me. Um, basically, the only adjustment that I'm going to make to this is simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the X receiver here, which is Scotty Miller. I'm going to put him on that corner route. And then from there, um, I'm going to take the R1, and I'm just going to simply drag him. And it's going to create a very simple little progressional read system. Now, the X, or the um, receiver here in this slot, uh, Miller, you will notice this is four wide receivers. If you still have a tight end in here, it'll be, it will, you can audible to and fro uh, other stuff as well. I like that I can go to spread, um, so I have kind of trips and spread out of this playbook. But anyways, the point is... Um, Scotty Miller is really your primary read against man coverage. So if you get a lot of man coverage, it's going to look something like this. And what's really cool about this offense is if it looks something like this, what it typically means is you're going to get basically more than likely your opponent's going to do effectively this right here. And then he's going to want to use her uh, here with the, uh, the middle linebacker. So you'll notice that Scotty Miller's got nice outside leverage to the outside, and he's got a really sharp cutting out route that is gonna do really well against man coverage. So if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, this is the play that I like to start out with. Um, another way that they could run man coverage would be something basically uh, like this right here, where you might see um, them dropping, you know, basically out of a cover zero. And this is really good against that look as well. So you're gonna see here, this corner route to the X receiver, even though that flat is on 30 yards, you're gonna see this is gonna work really well. Let me double check this on drops to make sure that that's back there. Um, at where I want it to be for the purpose of the video. And while we're doing that, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to text me. Um, if you also want to get the entire, and I didn't set my zone drops, but if you also want to get the entire scheme, um, I'm going to be putting it all in our true fan membership for you guys. I think this is a really, really fun offense. And it's just something different. Uh, it's, it's basically a spread out bunch set. And I think it, honestly, I just, this is my personal opinion. Um, if you take out the cover three bomb from from Jets Dig or something like that out of the gun bunch, I think this is the best, um, is a much better version of a trip set. And the reason why I like it so much more is because of the spacing. Uh, I love spread. I hate con compression sets. Uh, I just, I, I struggle to read them. It doesn't mean they're not good. They're just not necessarily something I want to do. 
and you'll find this to be a lot of fun. So you're gonna see here this corner route, even if I have that 25 yard cloud, you see how it's a sharp cutting corner route and you're gonna have space to be able to hit that route uh, consistently against your opponent. So that is um, the man side of things, at least to that specific route. Now, uh, let's say that they're running man coverage and you wanna work this left side. So this little route to uh, Fournette, you're gonna see here that when he comes, um, if, I, if I see man coverage, I have to throw that later. Um, but if I see zone coverage, I can throw that uh, really hot and I'll go over that in a minute. But if I see man coverage, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait and you're gonna see here, he's gonna cut to the outside. And he'll typically, on JPP, I don't know how he's blanketing for that, but he'll beat man to man coverage. And if he doesn't beat man to man coverage, you can feel free to just put him on some of the route um, that if you want to. Let me show it to you one more time. And again, this specific Y corner play, um, you'll notice I can smart route this out route. This will help it a little bit with the spacing of the play, but see how he gets outside and that's really what we're looking for right there. And again, if he's got backfield master, he's got something that he can get a little bit better separation, um, you know, then he's gonna certainly be able to do that for you. Now, uh, what about a blitz? Uh, so like if they blitz you out of man coverage, this is a really fun play to run. If they blitz you out of man coverage, when you smart route this triangle receiver, you see it's gonna really make that, that vertical route that he's going on a little bit deeper. And so what you're gonna see here is if I see blitz, I can just snap throw that easily. So basically what I'm getting at is if it's very similar to Gun Bunch, Fournette is killing me in this video, but if they blitz you out of man coverage, this is the easiest read ever. And it's, it's really hard to use for this read. Um, but literally just snap, throw on the cut, and as you can see, it's an easy five yards. So it's really simple to be able to beat uh, man pressure from this. Now, let's say you get a front that looks something like this. This would be popular. Your opponent will do this, I pretty much guarantee you. So you get a front that looks like that. Um, then what's what you can also do on this, not only can you hit Scotty Miller, um, so if you get a blitz, that out cut happens so fast and it's really easy. And as you can see, if we're in cover zero, oftentimes that's gonna be a one play touchdown against cover zero, okay? So you've got that opportunity. The other thing that you can do out of this, and this is why I love this concept, and I really just like this formation as a whole um, because of what it does to the blitz. So let's say they send pressure. Well, and, and, and obviously they're gonna be you know pressing, but they're probably gonna be shading coverage up if they're sending pressure at you. So this drag route is now gonna be a really good option underneath as well. So the user can't user everything. More than likely their user is going to go to your running back. And so that's where you just have to be prepared and understand if the user standing here, then my first look is the tight end. If their user is standing over here, then likely if I'm gonna to look to the left and if that linebacker on that left side blitzes, I can throw that every single time and get very consistent yardage. Now, what about man coverage defense? Um, this is really the reason why I love this play so much. So. If they're doing something like this and their user gets caught underneath on one of these under routes, any of those three, or the running back route, what you're gonna see happen is this route to the square uh, receiver is gonna have a, and Brady just butchered that throw, but he's gonna have a pretty good shot. Now, what I like to do in Mutt, as far as an abilities perspective, is I like to put mid, um, either mid out or mid in elite on that player. Um, it's kind of up to you. But I find that when he, if you look at where he cuts, it's it's his last cut is more of a mid in ability, and this this the picture doesn't give you a full picture. So if you watch where he cuts, see how he's inside the numbers right there. So if they're in coverage defense, I forget to put the zones out there. But if they're in man to man uh, like max coverage defense, basically, now what you put them in a position to have to do is they have to decide: Am I going to take away this square receiver? which I would recommend that you smart route his route. And then am I gonna take him away or am I gonna take one of these drags away? But what you'll see is if they don't take that away with their user, you're gonna beat that coverage over the top every single time. I also absolutely love this concept because of what it does to cover to man. So if someone comes out and cover to man, then you're gonna have, uh, your under routes are gonna be okay. They will get oh, some separation, but the real route that you're gonna be hitting against cover two man is this post in between the two safeties for about 30 to 35 yards. One of the reasons why we choose this offense is because we have that post route to both sides of the field. So now they can't be in a situation, well, let's say they do something like this. 
let's say they do something like this right here so they roll this coverage to the middle maybe they put this guy in a purple zone you know those are some of the things that they're going to do well now what we've got is we've got isolation routes so now that that fullback route cutting to the outside can be an option and i'm telling you right now you put backfield mass on that if it's Aaron jones and rags you're going to be fine if you're um if you're running back like if that's reggie bush and mutt you don't have to have backfield mass on him he's going to be fine um if you're really worried about it then you can always just simply put him on an out route on our option route um or a wheel route any of those are fine um but i personally like this route a lot but the point is now what we're going to be in a position to do is let's say they're showing press man and if they're showing press man that's when we go to our four verticals play and now you've got a one-on-one -on, -one on this left side as opposed to having safety help over the top so a lot of this is just understanding okay do i have safety help or do i not have safety help and you basically you you, you base find that off of this because here's the other thing that i really love about this offense they, let's say they roll coverage okay let's say they roll their coverage like that well the cool part is you've got this route to scotty miller and because he's flexed out because he's not a tight end but he's flexed out into the slot if they're running man and that on those two outside corners the linebacker doesn't have the leverage to get outside in time so this is an easy dot for about 30 yards if they don't put that safety in a purple well then what you're going to see and this is kind of the cat and mouse game of this of this offense but then you're going to see something like this very popular so you could see uh, it's very likely that you could see um, essentially a coverage that is is basically like this right here you know where we're basically running rolling the coverage to this side maybe throwing a yellow zone out there whatever but now where you're now where we've got them is the fact that mike evans his route doesn't get stopped necessarily if there's no deep half to the right so i see there's no deep half to the right so i just wait on it and as you see and he didn't animate but as you see it's going to put me in a position where i can get this now over the top of a cover one defense if they're in traditional cover one and what i mean by that is where they have that this safety is is not rolling into the deep half he's just in a, a robber you know either taking corners or taking crossers if that's the way they want to play you all you have to do and this is why smart routing that route is so helpful but all you have to do is just wait for him to cross right in there and brady's killing me but he you see the window at which we can hit this and the cool part like i said in the beginning of this video is it's not just something that works the reason i really love this formation it's not just something that works to that side it's something that works to both sides we can audible to pa wide receiver in and now we have the same route essentially to the back side of this and we'll go over that in a future video but let me just really break down this this route to square so you see here he crosses that cover one and now you see look where he's at in the defense so this plays a lot of fun i think you're going to have a lot of success with trey open something new something to test out a little bit as we head into madden 22 this is a great formation it's been great for years and uh, that's how you run it that's one of the uh the base plays and we'll be covering the rest of it if you want to get the full tray open offensive guide i'm gonna leave a link to that in the description um it, we basically put everything in the true fan membership for you guys so and basically what true fan membership is is you get access to our updates every week so every week we update it with an offense a defense and a pro player breakdown so if you want to get access to that it's just five bucks a month and it's down in the description thanks for your time guys